Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to our first lecture of linguistics theories, uh, and today's topic is introduction to formalism. A background first. The word formalism contains word form, which mainly focuses on structure. Before formalism, the main focus of all criticism was on history, history of author, history of work. Uh, and social and cultural background. Formalism gives emphasis on text, its form and structure. According to formalism, readers have nothing to do with author and background information. For example, a reader is reading a novel, so while reading he will focus on text on word formation, coinage and structure and not on author and his biography. So the formalism refers to critical approaches that analyze, interpret and evaluate the inherent features of a text. These features include not only grammar and syntax but also literary devices like meter and tropes. The form of a work of literature is inherently part of its content and that the attempt to separate the two is wrong. The history of formalism uh, it started, the formalism started in Russia in early 20th century and there were two groups, uh, Moscow Linguistic Circle that was established in 1915 and, and the main figure of that group was Roman Jakobson. It's written with J but it's pronounced as ya, Jakobson. And second group was Opoyas and the main figures were in that group, uh, Boris Echenbau, uh, Viktor uh, Shaklovsky, and Yuri Tainanov. It's very difficult, <laughs> you know, because they are not English names. But anyway, we have to learn them. And the studies and debates of these two groups, uh, they paved the way for formalism. The formalist approach reduces the importance of texts, historical, biographical, and cultural context. Formalism rose to prominence in the early 20th century as a reaction against Romanticist theories of literature, which centered on the artist and individual creative genius and instead place the text itself back into the spotlight to show how the text was indebted to forms and other works that had preceded it. So the two schools of formalist literary criticism developed. Uh, one is Russian formalism and soon after that Anglo-American New Criticism. Formalism is a philosophical doctrine which opposes the idea of strictly adhering to prescribed structural forms of a particular text. Formalism describes the critical position that the most important aspect of a work of art is its form. The way it is made and its purely visual aspects rather than its narrative content or its relationship to the visible, visible world. Formalism uh, is the study of art. This is another definition of uh, formalism. Uh, the study of art uh, based solely on an analysis of its form the way it is made and what it looks like. Formalism assumes that all that is needed in order to interpret poem or a work of literature 
is contained within itself. In, in linguistics, formalism is a theoretical approach characterized by the idea that human language can be defined as a formal language, uh, like the language of mathematics and programming languages. It's contrasted with linguistic functionalism approaches like cognitive linguistics and usage-based linguistics. By focusing on literary forms and excluding superfluous context, the formalists believe that it would be possible to trace the evolution and literary forms and maybe literature itself. Formalism is important uh, because after this theory, other theories came into being like uh, new criticism, structuralism and post-structuralism. So the formalism is paved the way for the rest of the theories after, the, after that. So, in short, formalism focuses on these f on the following things, uh, including, but not limited to, uh, forms, genres, discourses, styles, structure, rhyming scheme, meter, uh, literary devices. All literary devices. There's a list of literary devices, so you can uh, search for this. It's very easy. So, meter uh, is also included in those devices irony, satire, and uh, other devices. And it neglects uh, the following features, including biographical aspect, uh, intellectual aspects, historical context, authorship, and societal influence. All right, that's it for, for today. Uh, this is the, our first lecture, the introduction of formalism. So you will prepare one assignment uh, on this. You will discuss formalism in detail. So here you will show your understanding of formalism. What uh, uh, do you know about formalism? So prepare one good assignment uh, in your own words. So s just uh, show your comprehension uh, of the topic and in the next part of this uh, lecture we will uh, cover, we will talk about Roman Jakobson uh, because uh, uh, he is the main um, uh, figure of uh, the Moscow linguistic uh, circle we just learned. So we will see okay, uh, what was his contribution uh, in formalism in next, uh, next week. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your patience and for listening. And see you in next lecture. Take care.